Hi guys, and welcome to my talking about different amenities at Notre Dame blog. Today I'm just going to be talking about like Duncan Student Center, La Fortune, the library, places I like to study, the workout places on campus and different stuff like that. Just really quick, before we start this video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and then stay all the way to the end so you can hear the other options for future videos I have and you can vote about them in the comments down below. So yeah, that's just an interjection. Now continue. And while we do this today, we'll be playing Giant Jenga because as I mentioned before, I think it's super awkward to just talk in the videos. Like I prefer to make vlogs. So we'll be playing Jenga while I talk about these things. But quickly, let's talk about my pants. These are my Revice denim pants with the star on the butt. But I would have to say I don't recommend Revice denim. That's the conclusion I've come <laughs> to. Um, I tried to return them for a different size and like literally I sent them back to them and they sent me back the exact same jeans. I'm in my backyard, so if you hear like the wild animals, like it's because I live in the desert and we're outside. So yeah, that's just how I feel about revised denim. I wouldn't recommend it. Anywho, we'll be playing Jenga. I guess I'll go first. And first, what I'll talk about is places I like to, I'll just explain like what different things on campus are. So we have two like student centers. So we have the Duncan Student Center and we have La Fun, which they're both like just, they have places where you can eat and places where you can sit and study. First one, La Fortune, we call it La Fun, but its real name is La Fortune. That one's the old one, like it's been there for a while. Um, so in La Fun, they have a little, like, it's called the Huddle. I always get it confused with the Grab and Go, but it's called the Huddle. And so the Huddle's like basically a grocery store where you can spend Domer dollars and also Flex Points. So I've like spent flex points there before. Flex points are like you, you buy them with your meal thing. I think I talked about this kind of last time. They also have a Subway, a Smash Burger, a Taco Bell, and a Pizza Hut. Um, so you can spend your flex points and buy food there too. And then they have like different little booths. They have eating areas for the food places, but then they have like different little booths. And then in the basement, they have computers, like Macs and PCs. So I would use the basement to do my IT homework because I needed a PC and I have like a Mac laptop. Ooh, ooh. And then also I've like gone and sat in the basement. The basement's like really old and it's kind of ugly, but like I feel like it just fits the aesthetic of it because it's old. Then, so that's the fun. Then there's Duncan Student Center. That's the new one. It's built into the stadium at Notre Dame. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's built into the stadium at Notre Dame. There they have more food options that are more like modern and like kind of fancier, I would say, I guess. Like they have Modern Market where they sell avocado toast and like steak bowls and stuff like that. That place is really good. I like Modern Market. Um, then they also have Haggerty Cafe, which is good. I like the cold brew from Haggerty. And then... I thought I was going to talk about my favorite places to study, but I think this is going to just be me explaining different buildings on campus, I guess. Then they have like an Asian food place. I'm not sure what it's called because I've never been there. And they, I think they also have a pizza place. But that might be Modern Market. I'm not sure. I only eat at Modern Market and Haggerty Cafe. Those are the only things I've tried. Um, Duncan also, like it just houses a bunch of different things. So it's like many stories tall. So... They have like study space on the first floor. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I won't be going to that one. Floor, and then they also have um, study places on the second floor. And then the third floor is like a workout facility. So that's like the Duncan Smith something workout place. I don't know. You just say you're going to go work out in Duncan and people know what you mean. That gym is really nice. They have lots of nice machines and stuff like that. And it's very big. Um, I've only been there to work out a couple times because my dorm has a gym in it, so, but not. Then they also have like the Career Development Center, that's at Duncan. I hope this isn't like getting too dark, I don't know. I've only been there once for Moreau. I plan on going more next year, like they have like helpful things. So yeah, Duncan, pretty nice, definitely a nice facility or whatever. Man, this is hard. Okay, so yeah, that's Duncan. <laughs> So those are like our two student centers. Then we have the library. I really like the library. The library has lots of stuff in it. They have study rooms that you can rent. They have like big whiteboards. They have like meeting rooms. They also have rooms that you can rent in Duncan. Um, 
so it's really nice. The library also has PCs and Macs that you can use to do your homework, which is also nice. And let's see, the different floors of the library are like different. So like the first floor, like it's more like group work, like you collaborate. The second floor, like depending on where you sit is like kind of group work, talkative. They have like an ugly room. They were supposed to renovate the ugly room, but people were like, we don't want you to renovate the ugly room. We want it to stay ugly. So there was like a petition outside the door to make the ugly room stay ugly. And like in that area, you can study with your friends and kind of like talk a little bit more. And like they just have like whiteboards like floating around that you can use to like write on and stuff like that. And then like if you, I've never been further than the second floor. I always like meant to, but like, I don't know, like the normal stairs like stop at the second floor. Then you've got to like go in a door and go up or use the elevator. And like, I don't know, I'm just not like adventurous. So I've never been, but like on one of the high up floors in the library, they have like one window that outlooks the dome and there's one little desk in front of the window. A lot of people like to sit there. I like to study in the basement of the library because it's silent in there. So it helps me focus. And also everyone's like always working down there. So like you just feel like you have to be working too. I definitely would recommend studying in the library. I think that's probably my favorite place to study. Like I can't really focus at like Duncan and stuff like that because there's just too much movement and people talking. Yeah. We also have like different things that you can do, like different places that help you with work. So like there's a math tutor center, math tutoring center thing. There's also the writing center. I've used that before. It's in Como, which is the Coleman Morris building. Um, writing center, pretty helpful. Little like, it just they kind of correct your grammar for you, I feel, but I don't know. I thought it would be more helpful than it was. I've been like, I go every time I do an essay. Um, But like what they do when you go to the writing center is you sit down you open up your laptop, you, like they kind of look at like the essay, you look at the essay, and then you read it out loud to them. And the first time I went, I thought that was really weird. He was like, so do you know how this works? And I was like, no. And then he was like, okay, so you're gonna read the essay out loud to me. And I was like, is he joking? Because I don't know how this works. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't wanna be reading my essay out loud. <laughs> like, imagine you go in there and they're like, yeah, so you read it out loud. You're like the only kid reading your essay out loud. <laughs> And everyone's like, what is she doing? <laughs> Just kidding, but that's actually what you're supposed to do. Every time I've been, that's what they've made me do. No! <laughs> That was too fast of a game. We're just gonna reverse. Okay, I'm just gonna try again. <laughs> so yeah, they'll make you read your essay out loud. It's like kind of helpful. The best thing about it is they send a report to your teacher saying that you went to the writing center, which like shows your professors that you're trying. So I like to do that. Um, let's see, what else is there on campus? There's like, in Como, they also have like ministry, like campus ministry is housed there. So you could go there and like talk to a priest or something if you wanted. I've never done that before. But they also host like a lot of different events in Como, like for different groups. Like I know um, the Latino Student Alliance, like sometimes they have events in there. Um, they serve like Mexican food and stuff. But yeah, that's basically Como. The next one, my favorite building. So that's the Wellness Center, the McDonald's Wellness Center. Everyone just calls it McWell. It's behind Stanford Hall. McWell is my favorite building. Basically what it is, is the wellness center for students so they have so many things so basically i'll go like outside then i'll go into the rooms that they have <laughs> so you walk in it's on the the second floor yeah it's on the second floor the university counseling center ucc is on the third floor i've never been there so basically you walk up the first floor of mcwell is the doctor's office so if you're sick that's where you'll go um mcwell the best so you walk up to the second floor and then you walk in and you go to the little front desk lady and she's there to help you with like anything that you need and then across from the desk they have free food they have strawberries in the fridge oh my battery is gonna die they have strawberries in the fridge and then they have um like tea and coffee that you can make into Keurig. And then they have chocolate chips, Cheerios, pretzels, and like goldfish or something like that that you can like bring into the room. And they have like reusable cups and stuff like that and they wash them obviously. But then they also have to-go cups and like paper plates that you can use. You People battery. are gonna be like, You're, oh. you guys keep cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just trying to win here. Man, oh man. <laughs> oh, I think it's game over guys. JK. And then they have, if you go a little bit further, like across from the bathroom that they have there, which has a little like water fountain in it, which is like cute, like a little waterfall, water fountain kind of thing. They have essential oils, so you can make your own little essential oils, which is super cute. You can also request like a dreamer's kit. I did that kind of late into the school year because I was like having trouble sleeping. And they give you like lavender spray to spray on your pillow. And they give you a sleep mask and they give you some tea. I just really, okay, the camera died. But anyways, I just like the lavender spray and the 
face mask but then I also wanted like the earplugs but the earplugs like hurt my ears and they were like too big they didn't stay in my ear but yeah so then they have three rooms at McWell that you can also rent so they have the fort and the fort is like a little tiny room that has like greenery everywhere and then it has a projector that you can like play movies on and they put an iPad in there so you can use their iPad to like play Netflix or YouTube I oh man <laughs> <laughs> then there's the living room. The living room I've only rented like the fort I rent all the time. I just go in there so I like tell myself that I'm gonna do homework when I rent it. But then I just go in there and I watch movies and like lounge. Like during Christmas time I watch I drink hot chocolate and I watch like the Grinch and like just lay there. It's like nice to get alone time sometimes because like you're with your friends all the time, I think. So sometimes it's like nice to get alone time. I can't see. <laughs> She's doing it too. When the camera turned off, she went, No, I did it. <laughs> Um, so the living room we rented and we did a secret Santa. It was good for that because there's also a projector in the living room and there's also a whiteboard. So I want to rent it again and play like Pictionary or something like that, you know? Then the there's the break room. Super nice also. I enjoy being in there. They have a Wii. They have like a bunch of arts and crafts. So I like to go in there and do arts and crafts. And then they have a couch like with a little like where it's like an L couch. So you can lay on the couch and then they have blankets. So you can like use the blankets and they like wash. <laughs> Shut up. They like. Look, it's your turn. I've already started doing it though. I won't do it unless you look up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Yes. So anyways, break room. Lots of arts and crafts. They have like paint, paint pens. They have little mini canvases. They have like little wooden things that you can... <laughs> wow, that <laughs> was wild. So yeah, these like all of the stuff that like I'm talking about, if you go to Notre Dame in your first year, you'll like learn about it in your Moreau class. And then maybe like for comment down below what you want to see next. So here's some of my ideas. I'm gonna like throw them out there and you can like vote down below what you want to see. Um, you can also comment activities you want to watch me do. Like I'm thinking like we'll paint. We were gonna try to chalk today, but I just couldn't get the angle right, so that's why we're playing Jenga. But like we might paint, like maybe we could do like baking. It just can't be like loud, obviously, because I have to talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So here's some of my ideas for like next videos. So like Hold on, I have a list on my phone. Let me just read it to you. <laughs> now we're all together again. Pick up a dog. Oh, no, Brownie hates me. Um, what classes to take your freshman year? The weather in South Bend. That's important. On-campus jobs, SYRs, formals, which I already have videos about that kind of. Not the formal, but the SYR. The book that I think you should read. That can be a future video. Um, move-in advice, like different food spots on campus. I kind of talked about that. Study spots, I kind of talked about that here too, but I could make a video like my favorite study spots. Try to find like pictures. All this stuff would be so much better if I was at campus because I could put actual things in there. Um, um, tips for getting good grades, note taking, professor teaching styles, welcome weekend advice, stuff like that. Like you can also go back and watch some of my old videos and decide what you want to learn more about based off of those. So anyways, um, comment down below what you want to see next, what kind of activities you want to watch me do, more giant Jenga, more coloring others you know like let me know um comment down below what kind of videos you want to see like this video subscribe to my channel watch my other videos stay safe that's all i have to say goodbye